in the film, uh, in the in the entire film, which was from 3D in a Paleolithic cave, uh, with the oldest, by far the oldest cave paintings ever discovered. They date back uh, 32,000 years in time. And um, uh, there was always the question of perception and of time and things. And uh, by chance, uh, nearby, uh, only something like 15 miles away, there is a um, nuclear plant on the Rhone River. And uh, just uh, less than half a mile away is a huge uh, uh, amusement park with a, with a warm water that is used as coolant for, for, for cooling the uh, reactors. With this water, which actually is not radioactive, um, a company has created an amusement park uh, with a, a tropical biosphere and with crocodiles. And there are about 300 massive big crocodiles in there. And I was just curious and looking in there. And only right at the, at the entrance, uh, uh, I see two albino crocodiles, fairly small ones. And I immediately was fascinated and filmed them. And they are very strangely filmed in a highly, highly stylized manner filmed. And it, uh, in a way, it has to do with the film, and it has to do with human perception. How do we see, how do our own children, who, who, who are growing up now, our grandchildren, who are growing, growing up in the digital age, how do they see the world, how do they experience it? Within a, a, a single generation, there has been massive, massive shifts in perception of reality and of dreams and whatever. And um, the crocodiles, I, I named the crocodiles of, and, and I'm uh, wondering about how would they see this if they escape, if, uh, if they spread out and if they reach the Chauvet cave where I filmed and they, they invade the cave, what would they think, what would they see? And um, it, it, is a, it is a hint at perception and it's very utterly strange, I mean it's completely going wild. And, and the audience is love it. You see, it's not, uh, it's all of a sudden pure fantasy. I, I want to take my audience sometimes just by the arm and, and drag and straight into the, into the realm of poetry and, and fantasies. So I love this end, and um, I have quite a few questions, but I guess um, it has to do with the mysterious way of perception. And I would like to give a, a an example from a very early film of flying doctors in East Africa. I uh, accompanied uh, surgeons out in the field who would go where there was never any medical service and they would also do preventive medicine. In Uganda, in eastern Uganda, in a village, uh, the village is headed in this whole area, trachoma and eye disease is a huge uh, factor of um, rendering people blind and uh, it's only a simple hygiene to prevent this. And uh, the, local, the local paramedics uh, explained uh, with posters uh, how to clean the eyes if they had big eyes on the poster. Later the villagers told to me, oh, it's not a problem for us. And I asked, what did you see here? And they said, oh, this is the rising sun. Nobody, even though they were told it was an eye, they didn't recognize it as an eye, which I found very interesting. And then I had the suspicion of all these posters that were made by British uh, medical doctors and nurses, all these posters were somehow wrong. People did not recognize what was on them. And what I did is I uh, placed four posters on the wall, and one I turned upside down. Uh, and it was a, a picture with a village and people walking in the, in the village and a cow all upside down. And I had individual people whom I asked in front of this uh, line of posters and I said, uh, you, I'm using here four posters that you have seen during the last one and a half hours of lectures on trachoma. And one of these posters I have turned upside down and they even explained as if you were hanging by your feet from a tree and your head down and I asked which one is the poster that's upside down. More than half, more than half of those whom I asked could not identify the poster upside down. And that really gave me to think because uh, for them who 
had never seen photos, who had never seen television, who had never seen a picture on the wall. Apparently, these images were some abstract dots of color, as we would see, for example, a painting by, by Paul Klee, an, an early one of these early abstract. We cannot figure out what, what does it symbolize, what does it, what does it show. It's just abstract, and I believe um, one thing is clearly uh, the, the, these African villages were not, were not stupid at all. Who was stupid was was the medical personnel from Great Britain because they did not understand that they had a completely just different visual conception of, of images that were shown to them. So and uh, it has been significant for me and it has it has played a, a huge role in my in my work. And because of that, I I just give you the. Um, uh, radioactive mutant albino crocodile. <laughs> <laughs>